Hello everyone, are you ready for this one? To make it friendlier to the JavaScript programmer, we'll start from the basic form of forming on JavaScript. From there, you'll know what's make it different with TypeScript. Let's type the browser first. Give us more space. Close the styling. And let's do this. Create our formic component. Bring all the form inside the formic component. Formic. Let's give it on submit. which is receive values and then for now do nothing what you're asking for initial value okay when we're doing on submit it feels like similar to the javascript right because it is now let's set our initial values Again, we can use initial value like normal. Define the object. For now, let's hit empty. Um, maybe we will give the real initial value. Let's say we give all empty string. Name empty. Username empty. Email empty. Date of birth. Um, I think we will use undefined or okay, okay, empty string for now. And then password. Also empty. Now give formic props to the children component. Using this. This. And inside this is props. Okay, and put our HTML inside the prop scope. Let's run this first and see what happens. All gone. It's because we need to return the value using this. Okay, it's good again. I did. In these props, it has formic props. Let's get it out one by one so we can use them. For example, we want to give handle submit on form. So we'll let the handle submit get out. Give our form on submit. Handle submit. And if it gets submitted, it just showing alert the values we can use json stringify the values so we can see the value save and take a look at the result if we pass it's all empty right right now if we fill in it doesn't even matter let's continue From this kind of structure, you can already feel messy, right? Like, what is this? And why it has this again? And it said this return something again. I know, I know. Don't worry, we'll handle it later. For now, just focus on integrating Formic and the form first. We will do it step by step. Now let's give the value and on chains for each field. Tell you, you see? Now we can get out another formic props, which is values. And handle chains. Values dot name. 
contains endotains. Still feel the same with JavaScript, right? Let's copy this oh, to make it faster. So name. Email for date of birth. Let it be like that because the on change behavior is different than normal HTML input. So we leave it for later. Password. Done. Let's see the result. Empty. If we fill the name, test name, test username, test email, password, anything. And if I press this, okay. Because the type of this input is email. It already gives us the validation we want. It's good. And submit again. Name, username, email, DOB, still empty. Password. We can see that this is working well, right? But now, how to handle the date picker? First, let's see the on chain signature property from date picker. From the type, we know how to get this value. So let's create a normal function for handling the date picker. We will get it out. Create normal function. Let's say date on chains equal this and return nothing. We need to give the defined type. We already checked that and it gives us date, date, uh, date array, and undefined. Let's use it. Date on check. Late date on chains. Oh, sorry, not date array, but array with two dates. Change it. And it's using no, not undefined. Okay. Now it's receiving our function. Let's try to get the value to the console first. Let's check it. Open our console. Clear. Okay, it's working good. Now, how to make it integrate well with the formic? Formic gives us a function to set the field value manually, and we will use it for handling our date picker. The function name is set field value. To use this function, we need to move the onChange function inside the Formic props scope. So let's move it. inside this area and because right now we have a function inside this we need to change to not immediately return value let's turn it back 
to this uh, sorry yeah and then we give return this form Good. now we can set the field value now let's take a look set field value dob with date let's run it that of word set send it's working well but if you see this clearly this is a problem why because the ob inside the initial value is a string type and on date on chains we have date type this is good but sometimes we want to preserve our data type which is date and we will do it the right way using typescript to make it this dob has date data type we must introduce our form model to the formic so formic can recognize it as date let's make a form model I'm using interface, you can use type or something, whatever. Using interface form model. And inside it, we define our field with its type. Name, string. Username, string. Email, string. Yob, date. Or undefined and password as string how to pass it to form it apparently it's very easy you can think of react component just as a class or something that uses generic so we can use our form model right here as generic and it's done it's recognizing our model so the ob must be date or undefined because we want it to be empty we can set it undefined and date on chains because we are just using one date we don't need this and again because right now formic already know our model data it gives an error on value because it's accepting string or undefined that's why we must change this to to maybe local date string something like that so save it let's try it again refresh this one okay so we get some minor problem here see it's stuck on the 10th march to fix it it's easy actually we just need to use selected because selected is different than the value value is just the output you can use any format but on selected we need the date so good that we change the format to date right because we need it Let's see. Okay, it's good. It's already fixed. If this video helps you, please consider like and subscribe. Remember that messy feeling when we move our form. 
to here. In the next video, we will fix that and make it beautiful once more. Thank you for watching. See ya.